Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, I have another tutorial video for you today. This one will be kind of a follow-up for the last one that I did, which was the um, closer support tutorial and working with the JTAC and using the Nine Line. Um, this one will be just a quick video about how to um, uh, how to input MGRS coordinates that you get from the JTAC into the Hornet, so you can create a waypoint with those. Um, it's a little bit different than it is in the F-16, so I'll just go through it now. Um, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna check in with our JTAC. X -Men, one, one. This is in field one one one. It's a eighteen. Delta Alpha zero eight six seven twenty thousand. I have GBU twelve, GBU thirty eight, six hundred gun. Playtime is zero plus fifteen. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? Alright, so first thing we're going to do here is we are going to come down to our HSI here and we are going to just get rid of these so you can see better. We're going to click data, then we're going to go up to, we'll do waypoint 2 here, we'll click precise, then we are going to do UFC. Um, oops, let's see, my bad. Click on grid. And then you have these grids, which is all of the grids in the area. The one that we're going to be operating in, the one that our target is in, is in Delta Alpha. So you'll uh, do TDC depress and with the TDC slew switch, move it around, hover it over Delta Alpha, and release. Um, I'm going to do that again. Do that. And then we're going to start typing in our ports. There was 0608, and we'll add a 0 at the end because it's precise. And then four four six eight zero enter you see we have our coordinates input he inputted here elevation feet that was 1500 feet enter and that's pretty much all there is to it so come back to our hsi waypoint waypoint designate go back to our FLIR page here and our target is right over there they're going to be using our GB12, which you have set up here. A little far away now, this of our orbit, so we'll just go and burn it here to get closer. Five seconds. Alright, so that was how to input uh, MGRS coordinates into the Hornet for your close air support missions. Um, I might do a couple other videos on this for some other aircraft, um, but I mostly just do it in the Hornet and the F-16. But you know, like I s I've said before, it's a little bit different, so it's definitely useful to know how to do this um, in the different aircraft, but the regular CAS procedure is otherwise the same. So anyway, hopefully you found this useful, helpful, informative, etc. Um, and you want to consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing i really genuinely appreciate that um any comments concerns etc leave it in the comments i also appreciate that and i hope i'll see you in the next video